All right, back at an amusement park, doing King's Dominion for the day. It's been a minute since we've been here. I think she was here in 2018 for Twisted Timbers, and I was here a year after that, so I haven't been since 2019, but we're back. Looks like yeah. it's Labor Day weekend, so we'll see about crowds. It might be kind of nutty. We have but, fast lane. Yeah, we got fast lane, we're here early. Nice line for security, but we're heading in. Looks like they just opened the park. It's about 10.30. Park opens at 11. First visit. Yeah. <laughs> of the year. It's a full morning, upper 70s, or 80s maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Pretty similar setup to Kings Island, which we visited about a month ago. I'll put that video down in the description so you can check it out as well. A little bit nicer here with the trees though, I think. More shade. Yeah, More right. Shade. I don't know, I like it a little bit better, I guess. COVID-19. Please maintain a safe social distance and no health targets throughout the park. All right, it's 10.50. We're behind the Eiffel Tower. We're about to head to Twisted Timbers. They've cut us off. Supposedly until 11. We shall see. We're the running the bulls. We're off. And to Twisted Timbers. It is 11 o'clock. It's time to ride. Let's do it. Oh yeah. I haven't seen a train run yet, but on that hope. Oh dad, how are you gonna skip the pictures? Alright, checking out the lockers for the first time. Let's you know how it goes. I just ran into a spider web, so that's cool. Alright, go on in. Sweet, we did two. Uh, the front and the back. Figured out how to finally sit in an RMC train. So that was cool. Yeah, so I've had issues in the past with the RMC restraints, but sitting up and keeping your legs back, basically pushing your heels against the back side of the train helped so much. It made it so much more enjoyable because usually it wrecks my shins, but not this time, so. It definitely was way more enjoyable. The back was a lot more yeah, airtime and so a much lot faster. quicker than the front. Uh, but the front was still fun because you could, you know, see everything, but I definitely enjoyed the back a lot more. Yeah, for sure. I moved up my rankings a little bit just because it was a lot less painful, so. Because we're tall people. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. The lines are still pretty low. We're going to get on Apple's Apple real quick. Do a little wild mouse action. The Apple's Apple. Not too bad. It's pretty fun. Fun for the kiddos. We did a little bit of defensive riding, especially up in this section. Got a little forearm workout keeping us uh, off the restraint, but. If I was a kid, I would love that workout. I know, I'd be all about that. But I only waited like five minutes, so. On to the next. I think we're gonna head to Grizzly. Park's looking nice. Looks pretty clean. Enjoying it so far. And not nearly as crowded as we thought it was gonna be. 
Labor Day weekend. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to a park on Labor Day weekend, but not so bad so far. Cheers. Free water. First water of the day. Do not pay three dollars for water. At least at Cedar Fair parks. I think most parks offer free water now. Yeah, definitely stay hydrated and <laughs> don't pay the four or five dollars for a bottle of water. Yeah, seriously. First of many. Big Grizz. Here we go. We love your roller coaster. The Grizzly. The Grizz. Classic Woody. A lot of people are divided on this one. It is a little shaky, but it's got some good air time. I'm kind of right in the middle. It's in the woods. It's cool. Got a good setting. It's a little bit smoother. Uh, it would make a world of difference, I feel like. But we'll check it out and let you know. One great thing about this coaster is it's always a walk-on. Pretty much always a walk-on. They're running two trains today. Operations have been good so far. How was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. It's got a good layout. And in the front, it wasn't terrible, but God, some of the jackhammering and in the valleys of the bigger drops, a little gnarly. Some shuffling in the turns. It feels like your wheels are square. Yeah, basically. It's like rock back and forth. Even going to the lift hill, it feels like we're about to fall off the rails or something. I don't know. I'm sure it was good a few years back, but needs a retract. <laughs> awesome. Second round. And the racer, 75, formerly known as Revelio. The racer, let's see how it compares to Kings Island. That one was pretty good, actually. Yeah, so we just did the racer at Kings Island, which had been recently retracked. I think this one got a retract a few years back, but I can't quite remember. I think the last time I went on it, I was pleasantly surprised, but that was three years ago. The racer at Kings Island was not that long. Awesome. Yeah, that was fun. I actually enjoyed that. When in years past, it's pretty miserable. <laughs> so we'll see how this one compares. Been an awesome morning so far, though. It's our fourth coaster. Fourth, right? And it's just after noon. It's like 12, 15, I think. Haven't even had to use our fast lane, really, but I'm sure it'll come in handy once we get towards the front of the park. But still good weather. Maybe lower 80s. Got a nice breeze. It's been awesome so far. What do you think? Not bad at all. Yeah, it's fun. Super smooth. I mean, yeah, yeah, for how old it is. Yeah. It's about on par with the racer. Yeah, Short nice. wait, and we got the front row. Yeah. They literally just opened the other side after we got in line, so unfortunately we didn't get a uh, race, but it's still good. Definitely a uh, worthwhile ride. I think they recently redid this area. This is the Candy Apple Grove spot. It's real nice. Some cool theming, a lot of good trees for some shade. Drop zone is down right now, maybe later. Thing is a tall drop tower. Delirium over there in Candy Apple Grove. Another good flat. Might hit it a little bit later. We are heading towards Anaconda and Intimidator 305. Bye bye, 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 bye bye
everybody. See you later. That's cool. Forgot how nice and shady this park is. It's, it's really beautiful, actually. I thought Kings Island was gonna be much better than this park, but I must uh, not been remembering correctly because it's really nice in here. Checking out some of the theming for the new coaster coming to King's Dominion next year, I believe. It's called Tumbili. Kind of cool. I think they're re-theming this whole area actually. And they're opening it up with a new free spin. Is Tumbili the smaller version of the free spin? It's a little bit smaller than the Six Flags, Six Flags models. Excuse me. Some cool theming under here. These aren't necessarily my favorite rides, but we'll see. Cautiously optimistic. I won't be able to replace Volcano, unfortunately, but I think this is more or less a replacement for the Crypt, which was the uh, top spin model that used to be here. So I don't know. They still got a lot of land where Volcano used to be. Hopefully they put something there soon. This is what's left of Volcano. It's a nice patch of land. Looks like they left some of the station maybe over there. Avalanche is down for the season, but RIP Volcano. Checking out Anaconda 90s arrow looper. I'm a sucker for a nice arrow, so let's check her out. So what'd you think about that one? It's the classic. Yeah. Can't knock it too hard. Uh, we're in the third row, which gives a little bit more leg room. No one too bad. The course shoes are awesome. There's really good hang time through there. I don't know. A little janky, but still fun. Looks a little different than King's Island. Still got Flight of Fear, but a different Giga over here. This time of the Intamin variety. We're hydrating currently so we don't black out on the first turn. Who designs a roller coaster where you just drop 300 feet into a basically 100, 270 degree turn? These people are insane. Alright, so Intimidator and Flight of Fear were both broken down, so we're doing the back lot stunt coaster. Just did this one at King's Island too, and we were pleasantly surprised by it, so let's we'll see. Got off back lot. What do you think? It's not bad. Yeah. I'm starting to feel it though. Yeah. Shit. Oh, well, we're headed for Intimidator. So. so Michael. Don't tell me that. Time. Yeah. It's good though. They didn't have any special effects working like they did at Kings Island, but still smooth. Still a good launch. We grayed out a little bit in the Helix. That's always fun. <laughs> the inside part's always my favorite. Yeah. It's got a good finale. It's a good little ride, but I would not wait maybe longer than. 20, 30 minutes for that probably. We got right on with the fast lane, straight to the front row. All right, we're back again. Both of these rides were broken when we tried last time, so looks like Flight of Fear is still down. We're here for Intimidator though. All right, fast lane coming in handy for once. Walking right into the station. That was Let's do it.
five insane <laughs> craziest roller coaster we've ever experienced I'm, I'm pretty certain of that at least most intense it was on freaking real yeah it was pretty gnarly I blacked out at the bottom of the drop we we're in the back row so we we're probably in the most intense spot but yeah I blacked out whenever we were in the in the turn and then I didn't really wake up until we were going over the next hill yeah. so very right. surprising I didn't come back until the uh, the downside of the first air tunnel, so. Hardest I'd ever blacked out on that one, but still fun. The and speed is unreal. The over the shoulder restraint is definitely necessary on that ride. Yeah, seriously, they're nice and soft. I can't believe they allowed that thing to be built, honestly. I can't believe that's a ride. It's, it's just crazy. We love it, though. Yeah, it's, it's intense. It's typically a one and done for us, though. I, I think I got the brain scramblies after that one. There's no way I'm going to do another one after that. We're going to grab some food now. Let's check it out. Got lunch at Grain and Grill. Mm -hmm. I think it's a new place here. It's pretty darn good. Yeah. Like it? Really good. A little chicken and twice baked potato. What is it? Twice baked potato? Au gratin. Oh. Au gratin. Au gratin. Of course. It's really tasty actually. And somewhat healthy. Yeah. Alright, that was a good stop. Good food. We're gonna settle our stomachs with a nice ride through the woods with antique cars. All right, scratch that. We're going up the Eiffel Tower. Get some views. All right, Tower of Terror. <laughs> awesome.
Fun laugh on the Eiffel Tower. Some good views up there. Now we're heading to the antique cars. Some nice cars back here. Hopefully they got a short fast lane. Appreciate it, man. Oh boy. Through the woods. I check the cars. That was so fun. Definitely yeah. a lot faster than the last one yeah. we did at uh, Kings Island. Kings Island. Faster. It's kind of cool through the woods too. It's a little bit more secluded. A little bit more private. More scenic. Yeah. Could have murdered you back there. <laughs> Oh, Alright, we're back for another ride on Timbers. Hopefully it's nice and warmed up. Into the lockers. All right, just got off her third ride. Third and most intense. She has warmed up. This is vicious airtime. So fun though. Sorry, MCs never disappoint. Think it's like Steel Vengeance? It's a close second. Yeah, it's just not as long, not as tall, and not as crazy, but still really good. So smooth. I know, it's butter smooth. But it was a lot faster in the afternoon. I'd definitely wait for it to warm up. Mm -hmm. Had a little incident with the locker system there. There's a small little gap at the bottom of the lockers and as I was putting my cell phone in there with my keys and everything, my credit card fell off my cell phone and slipped into this small little opening. So just be careful when you're getting your things in and out because it fell all the way down. We had one of the middle lockers and it literally fell all the way to the bottom. So we unfortunately had to wait for a supervisor to come get it. It was like a 15 minute wait. They're so short staffed. I felt bad to have them have to rearrange their whole staff to help me out. but. I finally got it and we got on the ride. All right, well, other than that little incident, it was a good last ride on Timbers. Park's definitely filled out quite a bit more. It's a good time to be heading out of here. We're, uh, we're heading to the front of the park and we're gonna get on Dominator for our last ride of the day. How's this park rate for you compared to Kings Island and some of the other places we've been recently? I mean, surprisingly, I really liked it. I mean, yeah. similar to Kings Island in the, like, the layout and the format of like the shops and the restaurants and stuff. Um, but I mean, I think for a holiday weekend, it was awesome. Yeah, not too crowded. Fast lane helped on uh, more than a few rides, it seemed like, so I think that was well worth it. So we're the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. Tomorrow will be Monday, and they're expecting a pretty big crowd Monday, but I don't know, it's, it's not too bad today. Even without a fast lane, it's still probably manageable, but we definitely saved us some time.
last coaster of the day, the Dominator. Super intense last ride on Dominator. It's a good way to end the day. All right, that's it for us. Until next time, Kings Dominion. Heading home. See you next time. All right, we're heading out of the park. Had an epic day. Got on everything except for Flight of Fear. I think it broke down when we were in line. Honestly, we were just doing that for scientific reasons. I kind of just wanted to compare the two from King's Island to King's Dominion, but I don't know, this park was awesome. I was pleasantly surprised. It was a lot cleaner than I remembered from past visits. It seemed like staff were pretty friendly. Even when we slotted our credit card down the locker, um, you know, I mean, they were, they did the best they could and everyone was real cool about it. So that was awesome. But what do you think, Olivia? And I think the, they had a healthy food option, which was amazing. That most most theme parks don't have healthy options. So yeah, or else the, we don't find them. Right, the Green and Grill place is new, and they had a lot of different healthy options, so that was good. And it was awesome weather, yeah. not too hot, nice breeze. And I feel like with the fast lane, we were able to hit everything pretty quickly. Definitely could have done it without it, but with the short time period that we have here, it was. Yeah, was sweet. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back very soon. Probably next year to ride Timbili. Hopefully they're uh, at another coaster after that because I'm not so psyched about a free spin, but I'm sure it'll be cool, especially retheme of the whole area. All right, that's it from King's Dominion. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Nice. See ya.